MSI updates X870 AM5 motherboards with latency killer feature to fix high DDR5 memory latency. The MSI HSA 1.2.0.2A update for AM5 motherboards introduced some latency issues on DDR5 memories, which the latency killer feature seeks to fix on X870 motherboards. MSI releases latency killer for AM5 motherboards but warns of diminishing CPU performance in return for lower memory latency Most motherboard vendors have already released the HSA 1.2.0.2A update, which offers full support for the Ryzen 9000 by 3 d processors on the latest X870-X870 motherboards. Surprisingly, this update also caused some latency issues which MSI has now fixed by adding a new feature. As discovered by some users, the MSI X870-X870 motherboards added roughly 10 NS of higher memory latency with the HSA 1.2.0.2A update, which of course wouldn't be noticeable without actual testing. Thankfully, even though the difference is minor, MSI fixed it by adding the latency killer feature to its X870-X870 motherboards. As reported by at Unicosh Hardware, a user has notified that his MSI Meg X870 Godlike now has the option to turn on latency killer in BIOS. The feature has three options to choose from, Auto, Disabled, and Enabled, and as to how it helps in rectifying the problem, it is not clear yet. However, the feature did help in reducing the memory latency by around 8 ns as shown by the same user. This time, the motherboard used was the MSI MPG X870 Carbon Wi-Fi and the program used for benchmarking the memory kit was IETA 64. The latency went down to 66.7 ns from 74.7 ns on an Expo-enabled 8000 mount, S memory with high efficiency mode highest enabled. As can be seen from the IETA 64 window, the update is done through the same age as a 1.2.0.2A BIOS and users won't need to download a new one. Unico's hardware says that users don't have to roll back to the previous BIOS update to get back the original performance as the latency killer will do the same through the latest BIOS. The latency improvement did improve the scores on the IETA 64 benchmark noticeably, but in most applications, this won't be visible, including gaming. One more thing to point out here is that the killer latency option in the BIOS mentions enhances latency performance but could potentially reduce CPU performance. This is weird, but we don't know how much of a performance impact users will see by turning on latency killer. As it says potentially, it's possible that the feature might not affect CPU performance at all. Still, we look forward to updates from users who are testing the new MSI feature.